Hello, my little crones, my little munchkins, and my little chickens. How are you this good afternoon? Well, I hope you and everything about you and around you is doing absolutely fantastic. As for me, I was in bed, I you know, for a few days. I caught a little summer cold. They've been saying it was going around. It wasn't bad. It just made you just had like, I felt like I had like sinus nasal drip and not really hungry and chills and that's pretty much it but enough where i said you know what i'm just going to take off i'm not going to do anything and i'm just going to allow my body to rest for the next 48 hours and guess what that's what i did and i'm still not 100 percent, but i'm well enough where i think that i want to do something a little Light, and that is, I've really been having this feeling like I really, really don't like doing this, but I've been having two feelings. Okay, two feelings, and that is one, Scott Disick has been on my mind, and I know maybe a lot of people don't know about him or care, well, you know about him, but you may not really care about him. But for some reason, I just feel a very heaviness. In me about him so I want to do a reading on him so let's see let's see what the cards have to say I really and there's somebody else I've been kind of teetering with but I can hear them say from the moment the accident until now please read tell me what happened as if they don't know but tell me what happened in other words Read for me and tell what happened. And that is, what's her name? Ann Keish. Ann Keish. I don't know if I should. You all know I love necromancy. I haven't did that in a few months. Maybe, let me think about it. But in the meantime, let me get with this guy. Let's see what's going on in his life. Come on, baby phone. I've already shuffled. I know you're ready to do your most famous of all cutting of the deck. I like her to cut because at least I know that she has the final say and it wasn't my hands. Okay. All right. Okay, all right. That's got a lot stacked on there, okay? Oh, oh, baby, no there you go. All right, there you go. All right, thank you, baby. And baby, Crow, when are you going to do your segment? I know I was out on Wednesday and I just couldn't do anything. So we haven't filmed in what? Two days? Three days? Four days. No, four? I have been really feeling bad, guys. So... Um, not like COVID, thank God, but not like I felt like I had to go to the hospital or see a doctor. Just something I could take at home. I took a Tylenol. It was just that. It was nothing bad, but it was enough where I just said, you know what? I just felt wiped out like I just didn't want to be bothered. And the one thing that happens to me, and I don't know, maybe it happens to you. When I don't feel good, the one thing gives me away. I sleep a lot. And if you know anything about me, that is the least, one of my least favorite things is to rest. I like to rest, but one of the least favorite things is to sleep because I feel like there is so much to be done. So anyway, with that being said, this is about Scott Bissett. So let's see what's going on. Okay. Well, we see the bottom seems like he's on a retreat. So let's see what's going on with him. Scott Disick, and also he had some kind of an accident too. Now, I I don't know if this is a mistake, but I'm gonna show you with baby phone. Let me let me put them all out first. I don't know what baby phone was thinking about. Okay, but I'm I'm gonna tell you when she cut these cards. I'm gonna tell you baby phone did something. All right. Baby Cone gave me that. Scott, Scott, Scott! What's going on? Can you see? Yes. Do I need to hold them up again? No. First of all, 
Too much air, Sky. Too much going on in your brain. Thinking too much. You got a lot of energy. You're, you're, you're directing it, but you're directing it in the wrong direction. You're directing all of this, this tension, all of this, I don't know, all of this energy, all of this fever, this air. You're blowing it in the wrong direction. Also, I see there is another being in your life, or maybe a very strong queen, a very strong woman that you don't have peace with. You don't have peace with this person. You two, I don't know. You feel like you're standing alone. You feel like you have been left. You feel like you've been lost. You really do. This person, when you had this person, this person was a very strong force in your life, very strong. But at the time when you was when you had this person, this very strong person, you wasn't happy with it. You 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 wasn't happy. Now, I'm going to say this. It doesn't necessarily have to be Courtney. But it was somebody that was in your life that is strong Somebody who you looked up to. This is a queen. This is somebody who had authority. This is somebody who you looked up to. This is somebody who you trusted. This is who this is. And yet it shows that you had an outing with them. Something happened. And now, and this is all about the Kardashians, but it doesn't necessarily mean that this is a Kardashian. We're going to get to the bottom line. But what we are seeing here is with this, is that you've been in some kind of mental war, as I said, which is you're out of balance, you're real quiet, you had an accident, you're being reckless, don't know, you know how you get when you're out of character just too much. And you're out of balance. And because you're out of balance, that means you're not thinking straight. You got to, whatever these emotions that you're feeling, you really, really, really need to get them in check or seek help. Again, you're fighting. And what are you fighting with? You're fighting with all around you. Everything around you, you're fighting. You're not happy. You're discontented. And again, here you are, dashing, dashing. This time you feel innovative. You got a lot of ideas. You, 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 you're feeling frustrated. You got a lot of ideas. You're just dashing. You're just trying to keep busy with all that, all that fire and, and all of that air. And you know that fire just keeps blowing on air and just keeps making it just a hot mess. Turning you into a little hurricane. And all at the same time, clearly you don't know what you want. You don't know really what you want. However, you have a lot. You have everything. And although you're grateful, you're not happy in your life. You feel like something is missing. But I want to go back to that card because here I'd like to pull out the card. Here again. Here you are. You feel like this is a psychic thing. You've been thinking. You've been covering. You've been protecting. This person has done this. So let me rephrase this. This person has protected you, has guided you, had, had helped help heal you. I don't know if this is Courtney. Or I don't know if it's Chris. I'm feeling a strong sense that this is Chris, Chris Jenner. I feel as though this is what I feel strongly than anything. You're not in order with her. And yet, she's been like a mom to you. And without her, you feel like a kid. You feel like you lost your family. You're doing everything that you can to try to fight to hold them. But there is no room for you. How can there be room for you at this point like it was? when uh, Courtney got married. And this is really troubling. And even though you thought that you would be in their lives forever, it's hard to be cut out. Even though you're there, but you have really been struggling with that. You've been having a lot of ideas. You've been talking. You've been saying things that you should not say. You're out of balance. You're hurt. 
All at the same time, like I said, you don't, you don't even know what you want. One minute you think you want Courtney and the next minute you don't. One minute you think that you want to be with the Kardashians and the next minute you don't even know what you want. Because you're angry. You're angry with yourself. And it's an anger that you don't even know that you have. And yet, even though you have all the money, it doesn't give you, it has everything. You have money, you have everything. And yet, it doesn't complete you. You really want love in your life. Here, I see you done been around. You done experienced. You done lived the life of a luxurious king. You have done everything that you ever wanted to do. And now, you want to settle down. You don't want to settle down with anyone. You're growing up. You're understanding. You're getting older. And you want now, you, you know that you have to move on. You think about it. You know you have to. You don't want to, but you know you have to. And the hardest thing is, no, you will always be a part of the Kardashians. Here's the screen again. You'll always be a part of their lives, but just never the way that it was. And again, even though you had children, and even though you're very much a part of that life, you are, you are, but it will never be that same again. So here is another night that's saying you must move on. Even though it's emotional, you just take the place that they give you and you can't and just understand you have to move on. You'll always be in their lives. Always. Because you have children. Three children. And you'll always be a part of the life. But this cards telling me that you must move on. With much sadness. With much sadness from both queens. From you and from... It's just, that's the best that she can do. And also, this is definitely telling me that she cares and loves you very much. It's just, Chris Jenner, it just can't be the same anymore. Because how you used to hang around and you've been running off at the mouth out of your feelings, saying things you ought not say, you know. But, you know, you have whatever it takes. You have the money, you have the influence, you have everything. But I just wanted to do a reading on him. I wanted to know what happened, why he had the accident. He has everything. He just has some darkness about him. And right now, I'm just feeling like he feel alone. Like a part, a big part of his life has been cut away. And even though when he was out there doing what he wanted to do, he never thought that this day would happen the way that it did. That he would feel the blow of really losing her, losing Courtney in a way where she doesn't feel for him like that anymore. She, he doesn't get under her skin. He, he, she doesn't feel for him. She doesn't fight for him. She doesn't stand up for him. And because it's been that way for so long, he's adjusting. He's feeling what he put her through. And now he's adjusting to the newness of life. And it is not easy. But there is a whole lot of air going on. That means a whole lot of thinking, a whole lot of motion, a whole lot of chattering, talking, trying to fix it. And there's a whole lot of fire. And fire and air, yes, they are both weapons because fire is in the form of a stick or wand and 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 um, air is in the form of a sword. So you got two like this together. They're strong, but too much of water will put out fire. So and I do see a pentacle. I do see pentacle, which means too much water, too much water can just and, and put out fire, and then you have all this mud. So you're gonna have to really figure out how you're gonna. Find your equilibrium so you can fit in the family and know that that part is over 
and you're working it out. So, and I know that you love Kris Jenner, and she loves you too. And I know she has been a mother to you. And I know that this whole family has been a family to you. I just haven't heard from you. The last time I heard about him, he was in an accident with a very elaborate car. And um, I just hope that his mental state is okay. And, um, and I know if he hang in there, he'll land on his feet. But we'll see. We'll visit him back in a few months. Let's see what's going on. As for me, I wanted to know what was happening with Scott Dissy. Now I know. He's just going through. He's dealing and coping. Even though Courtney got married back in May. Yes. May. So that's June, July. Oh, it's only three months. Only a season. He's still working it out. We haven't seen him around much. But we did see him in an accident. Being, being uh, all in his head. So anyway, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. How was that, baby Cone? Do you have any questions? Yes, I was trying to figure out, is this anger that, that, um, what was his name? Scott Disick have? Does it have to do with the love he had for court? I'm sure, his family. Mm. When, he, when he had her, he didn't respect her. Oh. And because, in retrospect, they just didn't get along. Mm -hmm. She was really, like, like, uh, like wholesome, like into health food eating. You know, there was a time she didn't wear deodorant. You know, she was always into, you know, no microwaves. She was very rigid. And he found that, or, or the way she ate, so he didn't even eat her food. So... They weren't compatible at first, but then she started getting more health conscious and that just kind of like, and the things that she was doing, the way she raised her baby, it was just different. And even now they all, even her family struggles with the way that she does things. Nevertheless, you have to raise your children the way that you, you, you deem fit. You know, like something about her, like she wouldn't use plastic bags or she, I mean, she wouldn't use plastic or she wouldn't um, have a microwave in her house and things of this nature. And I felt like he felt that hard to deal with, you know. I mean, there was a time she let her hair grow. You know, she was just going through a lot of stages. And, um, and he was with her when she was going through a lot of stages. And he was a part of a lot that she went through. So now that that relationship is over and now that he is on his own and now he's not in the limelight like that, he might be back on an episode here and there, but he's not in the limelight. It's hard to adjust when you done lived that life for 15 years, been in the spotlight for 10 years. Just imagine, mm -hmm. it's like a death. And it takes time and his children. And he has to adjust to his children being with another man. It's a whole lot. And I know that it's a lot. And this is why I dealt with that, especially when he had a car crash. It's like, oh, my God, his car was flipped over. I don't know. Was it a Bentley? I don't know. But it was. It could have been a Bentley. Or it could have been a Rolls Royce. But I'm going to say it was a Bentley. And they showed the cars that he had. Well, anyway, it. this is... You know, this is Scott. Pull it together. You got this. I've been thinking about you. I know money is not your issue. I just want to see you around. Like, get a show. Do something. Um, but I know that whatever you have to do, you have to put the Kardashians. And as you walk away, little by little, just know you'll always be a fixture there. Even in Courtney's heart. But not Number one, that spot has been taken. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Did you have another question? No, you answered my question. Did questions. I answer it? Yes, you so did. So did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. So can I close it out? Yes, you may. Well, there you have it, my little crones, my little chickens, and my little munchkins. I hope you enjoyed it because I really wanted to know what was going on with Scott Disick. And now I do, especially after he had that accident. 
It's just a matter of adjusting to a new way of life. Because what he had and what was his anchor through all the things he was going through now has fallen apart. And now he's got to rebuild a whole nother bridge in a whole different way. And it hasn't been easy. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Ciao.